Only a few weeks now until Republicans take control of the House and they're getting ready for hearings into the Hunter Biden laptop story and the president's possible involvement in his son's overseas dealings. But the Washington Post reports that some of Hunter Biden's allies are making plans to go after his accusers. Quote, an array of groups is preparing to defend the president's son ex uh, against an expected GOP onslaught, but they lack a unifying strategy. I want to bring in New York Post reporter John Levine on this from the very beginning. John, nice to see you. Good morning to you. Kevin McCarthy also said they will compel 51 intel agents who signed that paper about Hunter's laptop being Russian disinformation a few weeks before the election of uh, 2020. Right. Yep. Remember, the FBI had laptop for a year, John. Yeah. Oh, I think that's just a grand idea to subpoena those 51 intelligence agency people. Because for me, it's a classic question of what did they know and when did they know it? Not just that they had the laptop for a year before it was published, but also these were people that held senior uh, position in the Obama-Biden White House. You know, Clapper, Brennan, Panetta, they were agency heads. They're men who could have launched a, a precision drone strike in the middle of Waziristan. So for them to be able to say, oh, we, 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 we didn't know what Hunter Biden was up to in those days. They must have known what the vice president's son was doing in China, in Russia, during that period. So my question would be, what did you know, when did you know it, and why did you lie to the American people in that letter calling it Russian disinformation when you knew it must have been true, you knew it was happening? I'd want to know these things, and I want to know them under oath. Or at the very mm -hmm. least, you, they were super careless and just said, yeah, least. put my name on it, it's fine. And yeah. they violated my yeah. rule, never sign a Where'd letter. Where'd this letter like, come from? Who organized this letter? Right. Who, like, that's also stuff we need to get to. Well, I think that, that'll be super interesting as well. And then there's more Twitter files that were released over the weekend. Miranda Devine, your colleague, wrote this in the Sunday Post. The media's silence on the Twitter files is shameful, saying that the best description of what the Times and Washington Post are doing is... I can't even say the word because you touch why get talk. <laughs> it's a great are we, are we word to that? for death by silence, a tactic to kill ideas or news stories by ignoring them. I, you know, these people are so deep in New York Times, CNN, NPR. You've got years and years of of shadow banning isn't happening. It's a right wing conspiracy. Hunter Biden is Russian misinformation. Th their, their, their viewers are in this sort of Bermuda news triangle where you can't just now tell them all of a sudden, actually, everything we've told you for years on this subject was wrong. And I think, unfortunately, the narrative is more powerful than the facts in a lot of these cases, where they're just going to power through it as best they can because they can't reverse. The ship is too big to turn around. Mm -hmm. Did you, um, or were you able to put in summation what was released over the weekend? Because we're up to four dumps right now, right? Four. And there, there, there's a lot there. Yeah, I think the key thing is to view this as a single story. It's coming out in tranches because Elon Musk wants to make it, you know, sexy and attractive on Twitter and, and drive viewers news yep. value and have a new news cycle every time. But it's one story, and it's a story about how Twitter went from being a very good company to becoming a very politicized, very partisan, very bad company, and that's the story. And I. I love the Twitter files. I think we're learning so much, and there have been so many major, major revelations. I know people who have been going on about shadow banning for like eight years, mm -hmm. and I've been hearing about it for years, and, and I've been told it's not real, it's a myth, it's just your content's not good, that's why it's mm -hmm. not doing well. Mm -hmm. And now we see the proof, and there's going to be, Elon Musk has promised all users are going to be able to look up to see if they have ever been subject to, to censorship or shadow banning or deamplification. So. It's all coming out. I'm telling you, if, if, if they shadow ban Percy Vishla, I'm going to be really <laughs> mad about that. Yeah, that's fighting I, mom I right there. I don't think I was shadow banned. I, maybe, maybe something I retweeted was. But it, it is very clear that we all have a lot more followers. No doubt. Like, t thousands more mm -hmm. than we did before Elon Musk was there. So that, something that, was happening. That's why we, all, right. we always thought Twitter was a fraud. Mm -hmm. It was right. a fraudulent company, by the way. They, they coded their algorithm. And now we see that the lid's been taken yeah. off what's possible. One quick thing here. Uh, number six, guys, a new academic that analysis right. of more than 140,000 Twitter accounts that use phrases or hashtags like bye-bye Twitter, okay, found that only 1.6% actually left the social media platform entirely. Yeah, they, they, they love to hate him. You know, they, and they're, they're going to they're gonna stay there. You know, Alexander Vindman, actually, is, mm -hmm. is, the, is my favorite of all of these because he's tweeting almost every day now. I'm done with Twitter. Twitter is dead. 
and, and it's like, I noticed you're still here. Yeah. I see it's like the people here. who are going to move to Canada because Trump won. Yeah. They you know, didn't it's, leave. it's like, you know, when I was in elementary school and the girls would make fun of me and my mother would tell me, you know, it's because they secretly are obsessed with you. <laughs> and I'm just like, <laughs> yes, I don't get it at the same It's still true to this day, John. It's still true to this day. They are. I heard all about it. Great to have you. Thank, Thank you, John. You're on a Monday. Right on. Thanks. Hey, it's Will Kane. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News channel on YouTube. It's the best way to get our latest interviews and highlights. And click to subscribe to the Will Kane podcast for full episodes right now.